Linda Clark and Dr. David Huntley were married in 2007. They lived an active life. He was doing Ironman triathlons. Then in 2012. And it was devastating, just unbelievable. The former dean of SDSU's geology department started noticing symptoms of ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's one of the worst diseases you can possibly have to deal with. Your brain stays completely sharp while you lose all use of your body. Huntley can no longer talk. He communicates using this tablet. I asked him how long doctors told him he had to live. Three to six months. We really don't have any options. There, there is no treatment for ALS. There is one drug that has shown promise and improvement, GM-604, but it's only past phase two of the FDA's approval process. Phase three will take years and millions of dollars of trials. Even that is no guarantee it will be approved. The FDA is killing us with their desire to protect us with lengthy clinical trials. The couple met with the FDA two weeks ago, and in April, Huntley testified before the State Assembly Health Committee, advocating for the right to try bill. Ebola took the lives of 10,000 people, but they were given a chance to live with a drug called ZMAP that had never been tried in humans. Huntley feels at this point he has nothing to lose by trying the drug, and that the decision should be his, not the FDA's. In Ocean Beach, Itika Milanis. And, news. and the right to try bill would give terminal patients such as Huntley access to drugs that are not approved by the FDA. This week, a Senate committee passed the bill and now it moves on to the Senate Appropriations Committee.